Hi and welcome to Jilly's Nails. I am so excited. This is my first nail video ever. And we are going to start out with the plate, the Edgar Allan Poe plate from Maniology Now. It says BM. It used to be Bundle Monster. So if you don't know that and you see BM, it's the same company as Maniology. We're going to use the cute little raven design from that. And we're going to start out with some Oont Peel Off base coat some uh, coral craze I think it's called from sinful colors it's part of their matte collection uh, I think it's about a year old coral craze there it is and the next one we're gonna stamp with maniology straight up black and we will be using the Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat because it's the bomb for stuff drying quickly so in order to get into this we're going to go ahead and paint the peel off base coat on a lot of people don't know this but it, the thicker you make the layer of a peel off base coat the easier it comes off so i am putting a nice thick layer across all of my nails i'm changing polishes like crazy with my 31 days of halloween so i need a quick pop off <laughs> so i am putting this on quite thick if you are doing this and you want it for longevity use a much thinner coat. Now what we're going to do next is use Sinful Colors Snow Me White. What that will do, if you have a very pale color, something that's transparent or a neon, if you put white on the bottom, it will make the color on top of it pop. So even though, yes, that is a pretty bright orange, it pops so much better if you put that white underneath it. So we're going to put that on first. I'm just checking here to make sure everything is dry. We're going to go ahead, put a layer on the Sinful Color Snow Me White. Oh, wait, that's a stamper. <laughs> okay, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to use the Maniology Ice Cube Stamper. I'm just rubbing it on a uh, lint roller right now so that I can make sure it's clean before I get started with any of that. I'm assuming that I'm doing this because my nails were still wet. So, um... That Ice Cube Stamper, a lot of people are not in love with it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, some very, very intricate designs can cause issues with it. It may have a little cracking or not pick up perfectly. But on the whole, I like that one. I'm also using a credit card scraper. They're the ones that are kind of a little more sturdy. And then again, I'm using this Edgar Allan Poe plate. Now, Maniology has redone this one and made that design on that plate half of a plate. So there's now a plate out that has that and another half on it together is all part of the Edgar Allan Poe plate. So I'll link that one below because I know you can still get that one. And it's pretty cool. It's got a lot more designs on it. I'm a little mad <laughs> that I didn't get that one. So as you can see here, I have... Uh, I got some big old nail beds. <laughs> They're big. <laughs> so it takes quite a bit of polish. When you are doing your nails, it may not take that much polish. So don't look at it and assume that you have to use that much. You'll have to figure it out and kind of test it on your own. Um, the Snow Me White polish from Sinful Colors also not the most opaque polish on the first go round. If you put a second coat on though, that sucker's opaque. So if it's a little bit streaky when you're using it underneath another color, don't worry about it so much. It's not such a big deal. Um, it's, you're not going to see if it's not a perfect application. And because I don't know what is wrong with me, I could not paint straight to save my life. This Manny, I am jokingly calling the Jinx Manny. I had to film this video three freaking times. <laughs> the first time my camera kept cutting off. Um, the second time it was all blurry. It was a nightmare. And the third time I got nail polish in my armpit. So if you keep watching and uh, get to the very, very end after the reveal photo, you will be able to see <laughs> or listen. <laughs> do the audio clip of my husband and myself um, cursing a lot so it is not safe for work and um, laughing about nail polish in my armpit it's pretty funny you should check it out so oh oh we're about to have something major happen it's a cat quake I discovered as I'm filming videos that my cats like to go along unbeknownst to me because I'm watching my nails while I paint them and bump my tripod. So I'm coining that term now. It's trademarked. It's mine. Cat quake. Because uh, like I said, I found where they've done it a couple times and I did not know. <laughs> so cat quake it is. We're just uh, finishing off the first layer here. 
<clears throat> of the uh, Sinful Colors Matte Polish. That one is a matte. And if you can see on my middle finger there, the white underneath was not dry all the way. It smudged a little bit. It kind of dragged it. Not a big deal. You just got to paint over it on the next coat anyway. You'll never be able to tell. I promise. It's on one of my accent nails, so you'll see it in the final picture anyway. Um, I do do a different technique than a lot of people around the cuticle because I do have such wide nail beds. And when I say my nail beds are wide, I mean sometimes extra large plates like stamping plate sizes are still not big enough for my thumbnail. I don't know. I got my daddy's hands. <laughs> it just is what it is. I do not have girly hands, but I still like to paint my nails. So we're going to go in. We're going to do round two get all of those done let it dry I'm not always showing the dry time in this while I'm working um, I'm trying to keep the videos pretty short and sweet for you so that you can get the idea but it's time to stamp so I stamped up the first time and did not like how it picked up a lot of times um, images that are on the corner can be kind of tricky about which way you need to stamp and which way you need to scrape so uh, that one I didn't like it at first so I scraped it again I try to do it in one scrape and as you can see the stamper picked up some other image than the Raven so what I'm doing is just barely pressing that onto a lint roller you can kind of see the pressure right there um, I'm just barely tapping it on to make sure that the design that I do not want is not on my stamper before I press it onto the nail so I'm gonna go in now just gonna stamp it down hold it for a few seconds come straight back up I'm not rocking the stamper I'm just pressing down and letting it curve around my natural nail curve now you do have to be kind of careful if you press too hard you can pop the stamper out the other side which is um, not cute and it leaves your nails not cute so you kind of have to press firmly but gently at the same time it's definitely something you can practice before you actually have polish on your nails so you can see how hard you can press down um, but generally it shouldn't be too difficult and if you look now you'll see all of my accent nails are done and what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a quick dry top coat on top it is shiny I know that a uh, the coral craze is a matte polish but I'm gonna go back in and use a matte top coat on it if you like it shiny you'll be done go ahead and wait for the birds to dry do your shiny top coat and you're out it's all good <laughs> but I thought this design would look really cute matte so I wanted to finish it off that way so we're just going through finishing everything off oh that is something that I did not list at the very beginning I decided to try this out again it's been a while since I used it but it was the Maniology smudge free top coat it's specifically made for stamping it is a water-based top coat and what it does is just help seal in the stamping without it smearing easily now you'll also see as I'm stamping over this that not stamping painting over it as I'm painting over it I am keeping a bead of polish on the bottom of my brush so I'm trying to put enough on there not to flood the cuticle and not to run everywhere but just enough so that the bristles of the brush don't actually touch the stamp so what you can even do is kind of dot it around the image and then use a bigger glob to go back over it and kind of smooth it out or you can just very gently do it you do not want the brush to press into your stamping to press to press into your stamping if you let the brush drag through your stamping like what I'm doing now is more of a drag than a float if you let it drag through it can ruin the entire image it'll smear it and it doesn't matter if it says it's a no smear top coat or not so now <clears throat> what I'm doing to go ahead and finish it off is the matte top coat on the other three nails that are not accent nails and going back in with that Sally Hansen quick dry top coat again the great thing about a quick dry top coat is it will make all the polishes underneath dry faster and that Sally Hansen one I'm telling you one of my favorites by far it covers great it goes right on it rarely smears sometimes you have to be careful but it rarely smears so it's a good one and I've even used it without that maniology smudge free top coat you just have to float it if you don't float it you will smear it 
So once you get the other two top coats on, you can just kind of go back in a regular way with the Sinful Colors matte top coat. Um, that top coat, by the way, love it. I was shocked at how good it is. It's not showing up on film right now that well because it's still drying in these images, but I love it. I also wanted to talk to you about this plate again. We just used ravens on this because I wanted to do some simple stamping. But there were some great creepy trees on there, other birds that are flying off. It has Edgar Allan Poe quotes on it. It's really a nice plate if you want to do something kind of creepy. So I hope you like this design. If you did, I would love it if you will subscribe, like my channel, leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see. And get ready because those not safe for work bloopers starts now. Rob! I need you. Rob. I have nail polish in my armpit. I need you to come help me. Where is it? Oh, you mean literally put nail polish in your armpit? Literally. Why the fuck did you do that? I stuck a bottle in there to warm it up, and apparently it worked. <laughs> pump that stuff? Yeah, pump it. Pump it. Jesus, babe. Well, I didn't know it was fucking leaking. I do mean literally. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna die of acetone poisoning one day. <laughs> Actually, if anything, it'll be work as a sterile, like an alcohol swab, babe. I mean, I don't really care if the shirts are under. No, I know, but anything. I was just trying to make sure that it doesn't go back on your skin. <laughs> no, yeah. Leah. Thanks. Okay. Trash box. Missed. <laughs> What? I need another one of those out because I got out exactly how many I needed. Do you need a single one? Yeah, just one. That's one. Is that just one? Yep. Thank you. Now we uh, turn my camera oh, on me. back on. <laughs> yeah, you just farted on my camera. Don't put that in the clip. <laughs> hey babe, come clean out my armpit and while you're at it, fart. <laughs> uh, you think I'm kidding, don't you? <laughs> turn it off back on for me. Actually, make sure it's in focus too. What's the focus thing again? This button, isn't it? Yep. See, I put little marks here. So I know where to put my shit. We don't need pictures. You ready?